Good evening and welcome to the January 15th, uh, 2020 legislative session of the, of the uh, town board. I'll ask that everyone please rise uh, for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'll ask our clerk to please call the roll. Draw should be here shortly. Cole? Here. LaFountain? Here. Moore? Here. Ackerton? Here. Thank you. Uh, tonight uh, we do have a public hearing. That's how we will start off uh, this session this evening. And I'll ask uh, the clerk to please uh, read the legal. Uh, uh, this is for adoption of local law number one of 2020 to be known as local law to affect a moratorium and prohibition. No. Nope. 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 No. I'm so sorry. The what public is, hearing. This, this is the, the this public is hearing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so, so, please forgive me. To consider amendments to the zoning ordinance and the mixed use development manual. The legal notice was published in the Penfield Post on January 2nd, 2020, posted on the town website and town clerk bulletin, bulletin board. No postcards were mailed due to this being a townwide accident. I, I, I apologize. Great. Thank you. Mr. Horowitz, is this uh, properly before the board? Yes, it is. All right, very good. Um, I'm going to uh, recognize uh, staff uh, uh, and uh, planning board and our planner uh, from uh, our planning and engineering office, uh, Zach Nursinger, if uh, he would come forward and uh, just make a couple of general comments uh, about this uh, hearing itself. Uh, Zach? I see that uh, Mr. Uh, Costello may have stood you up uh, and caught somewhere between uh, Margaritaville and Penfield. I do under, I have under good authority that he is back in Penfield okay, though. Okay, very good. So that's good. Then. Very yeah. good. Well, I, I know that uh, we're in uh, very capable hands, Zach, and if you wouldn't mind just uh, at a very high level uh, speak to uh, this proposed modification that, uh, that we have in front of us this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Uh, the proposal before the board this evening is for uh, modification to languages in both the zoning ordinance of the mixed-use district as well as the mixed-use development manual that was adopted. Both items were adopted by the board in 2017. Currently, all mixed-use applications go before the planning board for concept and final site plan review. We have done that for a number of projects thus far. We have done that uh, pretty successfully as well. We also, so that's the process as it is now. The proposal is to, at the beginning stages of a project, in its concept level, would be to bring it before the town board to evaluate the use and how it fits into the mixed use district as it's written in the ordinance and the manual. If the town board feels that the proposed project uh, warrants additional input, a public information meeting could be scheduled. Um, Similarly, the planning board has done this with multiple sketch plans that act in the same way as a public information meeting. It's been a very open and uh, transparent process thus far, but we do have this proposal before the town board this evening uh, for those modifications. Any questions about the district or the projects that we've seen so far? Well, I, I'm gonna just ask you to uh, sit close uh, just in the event that uh, any questions uh, come up. And the purpose, obviously, of the public hearing is to give the public uh, an opportunity to weigh in either for uh, or against or, or to offer up any other modifications that they believe is uh, pertinent. Um, and uh, so uh, we'll uh, ask uh, uh, our clerk if there's anyone in the audience that uh, has uh, signed up to speak. We'll take them first. If you didn't sign up, don't, uh, don't make a mad rush to the table. We'll give you an opportunity to speak after those that have signed up. And uh, then from there, uh, if the board has any specific questions, uh, Zach, uh, from a staff standpoint, I know you will be able to handle those. So thank you. Okay. So uh, I'll ask our clerk to, to please uh, call um, first speaker. Kevin Fitzpatrick. Welcome, Kevin. Thank you for uh, thank you for coming out. I've been out. here a long time, so and, I'm to and happy and happy new and happy new year um, uh, <laughs> of that. So, uh, 
Kevin Fitzpatrick, I live at uh, 12 Chatworth Circle North. I'm a Penfield resident. I also was on the mixed use planning uh, committee. So I guess I would just start out by saying I, I don't believe that this resolution or amendment is necessary. So I'd be opposed to that given uh, a, a, a few quick facts. One is uh, I think when I was talking to, uh, to Zach, we talked that I think it started with Katie, it went through Mark and Zach. So there's a lot of processes that went through. And then we brought the mixed use committee. The mixed use committee was um, basically local businesses and local community members, planning board members, town board members, and actually town officials that were part of that committee. So I think we did a lot of due diligence in putting that program together. And when we looked at that, one of the discussions, and some of you here were on those uh, committees, when we looked at it and said, who is the right but, you know, board or has it authority to look at that. And when back and forth, we looked at it and say, it's really the town planning board that is looking at that. As a town board, you're able to look at that, but you have all sorts of other, other duties that you need to be aware of, have to work on. So who has the expertise to do this? We thought it rested in the, in the planning board. So there was probably a, at least two or three different discussions that we, uh, that we went through. So, so fast forward, and uh, Zach said there's been a few proposals that have come through the um, through the planning board and home leasing and their project are next to the YMCA. So I, I, I do work for the YMCA, so I was very intimately involved in how that happened because there needed to be a lot of partnership and back and forth as to make sure that we looked at what the mixed use district was, how that worked, how that would affect the YMCA, and how we could really make it a community partnership. And through the partnership and through the process and working with the planning board, I think there was a great project that was put together. Now I can't speak for Brett or for Nelson, but from the conversations that I've had with them in the past, they enjoyed the process. Well, maybe enjoy is a little strong word, but I would say is the process did what it was supposed to. It might have taken a little bit longer than they would have liked, but it was the first one. So we needed to make sure that it, it was right. And from my standpoint, somebody who was on the mixed use district planning and then actually on the other side to see it go through to fruition, I think it met all the goals of that were in the original manual and the original goal. I'd also want to remind that the town board that it was actually approved by the town board two years ago. So what I'll end with is I'm not sure what has changed. What has changed so much that we need this to be adopted differently than what it was two years ago and all the time that was put together. So as my, uh, you know, as my grandfather used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So those are my comments. All right. Thank you, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Is there anyone else that had signed up to speak? N not that I saw. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak on this particular matter? There are uh, other times uh, within the agenda to talk about anything else, but uh, on this particular proposed change, Bill Wickham. Bill, welcome. Happy New Year. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, Bill Wickham. I live at 1787 Fairport Nine Mile Point Road. Penfield, right behind the old Grossman's Nursery. And uh, I'll just echo, I, I won't bother echoing, I'll, I'll reaffirm much of what Kevin said in terms of I was involved in the, the committee and the development, and uh, I'll just mention too that there was also a paid consultant uh, that was involved in that to help put that together. So it wasn't just a bunch of, of volunteers uh, uh, doing it. So there's a lot of, lot of guidance, and I think there's a lot of time spent. I think it was well done. Um, and I've had several interactions over the year with the planning, planning board. And uh, you know, I grew up on a farm, worked for my dad uh, for all of my childhood life, and then we worked together for a while, and I learned a lot of things from him. And a couple of things, a couple of principles that he always had was, first of all, surround yourself with good people. And I think the planning board does an amazing job, just fantastic. And secondly, Kevin already said, if it's not broke, uh, don't fix it because we got other things that we can spend our time on more effectively. Um, and uh, again, I've been before the planning board on a number of times. I've been here when the YMCA project was going through, going on, and uh, the commitment of of the folks that serve on that committee is just incredible. Uh, they do their homework, uh, they ask great questions, they push back on projects when they should be pushed back on. Um, so for me. I, I don't see the need for another, another layer of micromanagement being involved in it. And 
I don't know. I'm glad I don't serve on the committee because it's almost offensive to me that we're even having this conversation if, if I were. But uh, anyway. All right. Thank you. Bill, thank you. Is there uh, anyone else uh, that would like to address the board on this matter? Uh, I'll ask uh, before I uh, read the one correspondence that uh, that I did receive. Um, I'll ask the board at this point. Uh, board, uh, do you have any questions uh, for staff um, at uh, at this time? No. Okay. I did uh, I did receive a letter. Uh, this came in uh, from Ralph uh, Detucci, and uh, he is the manager of Atlantic Two uh, uh, Two Fifty LLC. <clears throat> And uh, addressed to the town board, uh, please accept this letter as our statement of opposition to the proposed amendments to the Penfield Zoning Ordinance and the Mixed Use Development Manual, and our request that the Penfield Town Board not approve the proposed resolution discussed uh, at this uh, evening's meeting, uh, December 18th, or uh, excuse me, at uh, the resolution, uh, the board's uh, uh, regular meeting uh, that uh, that we had. Uh, the resolution proposes that uh, an amendment be made to Chapter 250. Dash five point twelve dash a of the ordinance and sections four point three, the application overview of the manual to require the mixed use district development applicants to present a project scope and concept uh, plan to the town board at a working session meeting for its review and approval of the proposed use and the conceptual layout. The town board may require the applicant present more details about the project in a subsequent public uh, information meeting, uh, which shall be open to the public uh, for comments. Uh, after the town board has approved the pros, uses, and con conceptual layout, uh, town staff will provide applicants with an application instructions and forms of the appropriate uh, planning board application. We believe that the town board uh, acted appropriately in November of 2017 uh, upon the adoption of local law number three of 2017 of the current zoning ordinance and mixed use development manual and the proposal amendments not be warranted. Uh, consistent with the town board's original stated uh, intent at the time of creating the mixed use district, this manual em uh, empowers the planning board and provides the Penfield planning board uh, will act as the board having jurisdiction uh, for all the mixed use development applications. As you were aware, uh, beginning in 2010, we have presented multiple design concepts for our proposed mixed-use uh, development at 250 and Atlantic Avenue to town staff, the mixed-use district uh, steering committee, and to the town board and to the planning board. Following a September 6, 2018 public meeting with the planning board for review of our sketch plan application, we received a December 14, 2018 letter from uh, Zach Nursinger uh, from our planning department on behalf of the planning board, which letter stated that the planning board uh, had completed its review of the proposed sketch plan and was generally supportive of the proposed project and uh, will accept a future application for preliminary uh, overall subdivision and final site plan review. At this time, we also provided uh, appropriate planning board application as uh, provided for in section 4.3 of the manual. If the proposed resolution is approved uh, and the amendments are adopted, our project will be unfairly set back and delayed because uh, we will be required to repeat the process that we have already completed over the course of several years. We appreciate the board's consideration of our opposition uh, in this request, and uh, we are hopeful that you will allow us to continue the process uh, we have undertaken in compliance with the current ordinance and the manual and uh, respectfully submitted uh, by Ralph DiTucci, and again, manager of Atlantic 250 LLC. I'll ask uh, one last opportunity. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to address uh, the board on uh, this matter? Okay, seeing none, I'll ask the board uh, any final questions, comments uh, for staff uh, on this matter. Yeah, Mr. Supervisor, just real quick, I just want to follow up on a comment that Mr. Fitzpatrick said, and I agree with him when he talked about community members. And the mixed use committee was a resident driven committee. Um, and it also included, and I think his reference of community members, um, to me, that sounded more like neighborhood uh, association representatives that were a part of that committee, which is a good thing. So all the neighborhoods surrounding this particular mixed use district 
um, did have a representative. I think some uh, neighborhood associations had two representatives on the committee, but I thought it was um, worth mentioning that the mixed use committee was a resident driven committee with recommendations to this board. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing no further comments, um, I'll uh, ask uh, Zach uh, anything additional you believe should be added to the record that wasn't already discussed this evening. All right, thank you very much. I will declare this public hearing closed. Uh, the next steps, uh, the board will take up uh, discussion of this matter at a future uh, work session. I'll ask that uh, anyone interested to just keep an eye on the agenda. Each one of our agendas are published uh, early afternoon on the Friday before a meeting. And I would just ask that uh, you take a look and uh, if you see that on the agenda, uh, everyone and anyone is welcome to attend. Uh, to hear that conversation and discussion. Uh, they can also uh, tune in to Penfield TV and uh, hear that uh, conversation or on our streaming video. So thank you for everyone that participated. Thank you for taking time out of your schedule to uh, weigh in on this matter. Thank you. All right, uh, the board uh, will uh, continue on with communications and announcements. And I'll first uh, recognize uh, our clerk. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Full payments and first installments for the 2020 town and county tax bills are due Monday, February 10th. Any payments made through February 10th will be interest free. After February 10th, interest will accrue. The town's drop box is located at the east side entrance of the town hall for your convenience. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'll next recognize uh, Councilman Akadem. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. I have uh, one communication to share tonight regarding recycling. With the holiday season at a close, many residents are looking to dispose of their Christmas trees. The Department of Public Works is accepting non-artificial trees for recycling at the highway garage located at 1607 Jackson Road. Trees can be dropped off at any time, being placed just to the right side of the facility gates. There's a sign labeled Christmas trees. All trees will be ground up and made part of the mulch pile, which is available on the west side of the town hall complex. Thank you for choosing to recycle your Christmas tree to benefit our community. And also, if you have a set of holiday lights that no longer work, remember they can too be recycled. However, they should be taken to places such as Eco Park at 10 Avion Drive, Rochester 14624, and not placed in curbside recycling bins. Mixed in with hundreds of pounds of material, the long strands of cords tend to get wrapped up around the machinery at the Monroe County Recycling Center and cause significant damage. Many hardware stores will also accept these lights for recycling. Thank right. you. Thank you. Um, I have uh, one announcement that's uh, to remind all of our residents that the town offices will be closed this coming Monday, the 20th, uh, in observance of Martin Luther King Day. However, the Penfield Library will be open their normal <coughs> business hours. Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. The public is invited to join the Penfield Recreation for a family winter snow night out on Friday, February 7th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Harris Wayland Park. Come play in the snow under the February snow moon. This unique nighttime experience at Harris Whalen Park will include snow games, building snow sculptures, sledding in the moonlight, snowshoeing or hiking on moonlit trails, refreshments, and staying warm by a fire. Participants are asked to bring a flashlight or headlamp for the snowshoeing and sledding. Uh, the event is free and open to all ages. It's sponsored by Penfield Recreation, Penfield Town Board and Wegmans, and our wellness partner, um, Wegmans again. For more information, Please call Penfield Recreation at four. I'm sorry, three four zero eight six fifty five, option zero. That's three four zero eight six five five, option zero. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Councilwoman Cole. I have one announcement. Ms. Penfield Community Victory Garden mm -hmm. will host a seed swap and seed starting workshop on Saturday, January 26, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Penfield Community Center. Garden designer Carol Southby will present a slideshow of perennials for early spring bloom. Everyone is welcome to bring collected seeds to share as an option too. This event is co-sponsored by Penfield Community Victory Garden and the Flower City Garden Network and is free and open to the public. Pre-registration is requested by emailing flowercitygardennetwork at gmail.com. That's it. Okay, uh, very good, uh, thank you. Uh, we'll move on to uh, public participation. There are t uh, three ways that you can do that if you're here in the audience, so you can address the board on any matter at the podium. 
Uh, you can call in at 340-8771, or you can log on at penfield.org. Um, I don't see anyone uh, in the audience. Uh, I did, however, receive uh, one correspondence. Uh, this came in last week, um, but uh, was just shared uh, with me. Um, and this is uh, from a, a Deborah Byer Root uh, on Hilltop Drive. Uh, her comment is, is that on January 6, and less than an inch of snow, streets practically clear. Uh, why are you plowing the neighborhoods? Uh, such a waste of money. Uh, thank you, Deborah. Uh, I'm going to turn this over tomorrow to our Director of Public Works and uh, have him uh, follow up uh, with you on that. Um, seeing no further uh, communications, uh, we'll continue on with our agenda. I'll ask the board, is there any additions or deletions to the agenda for this evening? Mr. Supervisor, I have one addition to tonight's agenda. It is entitled 2019 Budget Transfer. I'll second that. Okay, so um, it's, been, uh, it's been moved and seconded. And uh, I'm just going to ask uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Moore, is that, uh, is that identified by chance? Um, so I think what happens uh, is that uh, this is uh, actually resolution uh, 054. Um, okay. And uh, so uh, is already on the agenda. Ah, okay. okay. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. Um, there, is, uh, there is no need uh, for that. So um, because that is on the agenda, uh, we'll continue to move forward. Yep. Seeing no other additions or deletions, <laughs> uh, we'll move on to uh, our minutes. We have the December 18, 2019 minutes before us and would entertain a motion of approval on those minutes. I move that the minutes of December 18th be approved. Second. It's been moved and uh, seconded. Uh, I'll ask, is there any discussion? Nope. Seeing none, um, I'll ask for a roll call vote on the minutes. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Akadin? Aye. Four ayes. Thank you. Since the last meeting, has uh, the town board, town attorney, or town clerk received any petitions? Okay, seeing none, move on to resolution by function, and uh, we will begin with law and finance. Setting a public hearing for adoption of local law number one of 2020 to be known as a local law it, uh, to affect a moratorium and prohibition within the town of Penfield of public golf course redevelopment. Moved. Second. Whereas the town board of the town of Penfield wishes to consider adopting a proposed local law number one of 2020, which would amend and extend the moratorium and prohibition of public golf course redevelopment on any real property located within the town of Penfield. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on February 5th, 2020 at 7 p.m. on said date to consider said proposed proposal and to hear all persons interested in the question of this adoption of Local Law 1 of 2020, which would amend and extend a moratorium and prohibition of public golf course redevelopment on real property located in the town of Penfield. This local law shall apply to rough to 0.62 acres of, of vacant land situated between 1875 and 1885 Baird Road adjacent to the real property commonly known as Shadow Lake Golf Course property. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion on this resolution? See no discussion uh, or further discussion. I'll ask for a roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockenden? Aye. Four ayes. 2019 budget transfers. Moved. Second. Whereas transfers of funds are necessary for end of the, of the year reconciliations, whereas the town board desires to have an up-to-date budget in relation to current income and expenditures. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the attached budget transfer be approved from library, books, to equipment in the amount of $54. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. See no further discussion. Roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Akadin? Aye. Four ayes. Authorization for supervisor to sign recreation contracts. So moved. Second. This resolution authorizes the town supervisor to sign nine recreation contracts, and they're all dealing with the upcoming programs in the spring, winter spring of 2020. Okay, great. Uh, further discussion? 
Seeing no further discussion, roll call vote, please. Cole? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Ockaden? Aye. Four ayes. All right. Um, I'll ask the board, is there any new uh, old business to come before the board this evening? Okay. Seeing none. Is there any new business to come before the board this evening? Again, seeing none. It's the second opportunity for public participation. Uh, seeing that there are no calls uh, or no one in the audience, uh, we'll move uh, to uh, the next item, which is executive session. Uh, I'm going to call for a uh, short executive session on a legal matter uh, right after this uh, meeting. And um, I, would, uh, I would ask um, if I would have a motion uh, to support that. I will move that, Mr. Supervisor. Thank you. And a second? I will second that. Thank you. Uh, this board will go into a short uh, executive session uh, after uh, the close here. And there being no further business to come before the January 15, 2020 legislative session of the town board, the board stands adjourned at 727 p.m. Thank you for everyone that participated. Thank you to Penfield TV.